I'm curious, uh, how difficult is it to uh, go uh, to push for renewable energy? Because we've been talking about uh, RE even before the pandemic, like I think uh, even a decade before or decades before uh, the pandemic. So what are the main challenges in uh, pushing for renewable energy projects? You know, um, the government actually put um, a lot of good programs to um, incentivize investors no, uh, to uh, to develop uh, and operate um, renewable energy. No, um, I, I think uh, DOE um, is is very serious with regard to um, um, pushing for um, new capacities. They have recently um, they have programs like um, the energy. Uh, energy project of national significance. No, if your project actually has been classified as part of that, um, it will um, it will have a, um, a it will follow a fast track um, process of uh, permitting. Um, there's also a, a bill that was passed. No, uh, Evos um, Energy One Stop Shop, um, and, and 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 also for the same reason to fast track uh, permitting. Um, it, it, the I think where the um, where we where we are actually seeing some some slowdown is um, well in availability of land. No, remember um, you know we we don't have we don't have um, uh, deserts in the Philippines. Most of our land are actually arable. Most of our land is actually meant for food production. So any any land that you convert no to to house solar facility, you're taking out of food production. I guess you know. Um, in the future, there, that will be a uh, that will also be a um, a, a controversial discussion. No? Um, balancing energy and food production. Um, there's um, you know any any acreage you take from um, and, and and convert it for solar. You, you're taking taking it out to, to a um, uh, a productive agricultural um, agricultural output. No, so that has to be um, included. But um, having said that, I think we're seeing we're going to see um, significant uh, significant uh, investments uh, coming from uh, renewable energy in the next three to five years. Um, and um, that will actually um, be supplying probably uh, to the grid around 24, 25, and uh, will we'll be um, will have a significant portion of that as well. Analysts are also uh, concerned about uh, capacity because there are concerns that um, probably in 2022 to 2024 there's going to be energy issues, and 2022 is going to be an election year. So uh, how will that? Uh, how will the industry address that? I guess the analysts are basing that view um, based on the recent um, events, no, uh, in uh, middle of this year, where um, a number of the base load plants actually um, went down, no, um, forced outages, no, and you know, the, um, rightly so. These plants are actually um, uh, quite aged, no, Swal, um, Pagbilao, um, in uh, owned by um, by Team Energy, where we are actually the uh, the administrator, no, we're the one selling the the out. Um, but of course, the the the, the owners of this us um, for for Pagbilao, once the cooperation period um, happens, we are actually going to to make sure that um, we're going to um, um, you know invest some 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 capital uh, to. Um, Improve the the availability and reliability of these these plants. It just so happened that uh, these base load plants um, came down all at the all at the same time. So what are the chances of that? And um, there's always this view that uh, you know it's um, intentional and that the generators are actually gaming um, the spot market um, and and and, um, and they're really putting down this plant to 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 um, get an increase in Western prices. But I've always said that the only time generators are making money is that when our plants are running. Otherwise, we will be buying from the spot market to service our contracts and sell them at contracted rates and buying them at a much higher price. Uh, we're losing money uh, every time our, our, our plants are down. So I think they based their um, their view on on those events um, mid uh, early this year. Next year, with with GNPD, our, our facility in Bataan, um, now the one unit is actually running at 600 megawatts. It can run at 668. It should run at 668 megawatts to add um, uh, additional capacity to the grid. And then the second unit um, will be running um, uh, or will be synchronized, um, expected to be synchronized by February of um, 2022. I think 2022 should be um, should be okay. No, um, and 
uh, uh, assuming that uh, all the other baseload plants actually are uh, are also running. 